That's the power of the canvas of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> because you've given me some advice in this whole situation. Well, now, so. um, now, now I'm thinking, now, because when it first started, yeah, I was like, I wasn't taking this very seriously. So I said, like, I was, I was just like, ah, oh, it's, it's a mind, this is nothing, rah, rah, rah. And then, then, like, this is like probably like mid, mid, um, probably like, probably like, nah, end of January, because a lot of my stocks rely on, rely, rely in, in like south like east province of china because that's where they do manufacturing stuff like that so like for example tesla's got like a new um a new a, a new facility in china like a new production line in china so i was like so probably for me it's like end of january or something like that i sold my i sold my own personal tesla shares <laughs> so i sold my own my, my own personal tesla shares i was like yeah it's not gonna look not look good right, right. So I saw my own personal Tesla shares and obviously I was like uh, I don't know but for me it was like because my brother told me like to sell them I was like oh you know what I, 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 I'll sell mine see how mine goes and then I'll do my, my thing with my clients one in it so I done my one and then obviously I was like well then first up mid-February I was like what's happening right now I was like, I was like this is getting bad now so obviously I started making I started selling more more trying to get more liquid cash on me and then I, that's when I started selling both my I saw, some, I saw some of my clients one told them like they should sell some of the some of the stocks they had in pharmaceutical companies, stuff like that. And then especially like the ones, especially that what like especially the ones involved in East China. So that kind of carried on. Then it got to like March, and then it started, it started hitting England, and I was like, oh, dang. So I started selling like a lot of mine, so a lot of mine as well. And then I thought, then I was, I was I was selling more to get more cash really, because because I, I knew like if this. Because I knew, if, like, if I get more cash when this thing goes down, if it goes down, I can buy from the bottom up. Yeah, so like, because I want to buy from the bottom up and see how far up I can go, I can really go. So that's what I, that's what that's what I'm doing now. So now I've like bought into like um new stocks now. So especially like the airline industry, that's gonna be really affected. Yeah, yeah. The airline industry, like a lot of companies, like a lot of airline companies, are not gonna survive. Do you reckon? Yeah, what, that makes sense though. That makes sense. Thing, I was thinking to you, I was thinking, I tried to explain to you because what is the airlines, yeah? We are not the, like, for example, me and you, we, we aren't the air, we, airlines target market. Like, we, like, for example, we don't make the airlines money. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we fight economy. Do you know what I'm saying? They make their money from business class, first class, those kind of people. That's how they make their money. Because like those those for example a first class ticket or somewhere might be five thousand pounds and economy ticket is is like um it's a four hundred pounds. Do you know what I mean? So it's like that 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 mad difference that they they if they can get for example twenty people first class, yeah that's cool. What so what's happening right now is the most exactly so most most people that business wise are in the fifties sixties. So they are. Yeah, so yeah, they are high risk of catching coronavirus and actually being harmed by it. So they're not going to be traveling around the world for a while. Do you know what I mean? So like they're going to be literally be doing Zoom, Zoom meetings and stuff like that. And like, yeah, that's that's a that cool, cool thing. So they're going to be doing so. A lot of airlines are going to go bust because they're not even if they even if young people like me and you are flying or whatever, they they are making a profit from they are making a profit because the people they want to fly aren't flying. I'm glad you mentioned a certain one, uh, Zoom. So shouldn't that will be ironically flying right at the moment? Stocks. Yeah, I think I think I I don't really know much about Zoom if it's publicly traded, but I think it should be. I don't know if it's publicly traded though. I'm not sure if it's publicly traded. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that their stocks will be going. They should be going. They should be going really up though. They should be going up because like people are using that to have meetings, to have like um to do a lot of businesses on Zoom stuff like that. So they're doing really really well, and it's like um. Because because of that, people are not flying. Like business business executives are not flying abroad. Business people that usually fly are not going to risk them catching corona because that they want to go traveling. Do you know what I mean? They they will probably stay in, in for meet business meetings or whatever. So in that makes sense. A lot of airlines are going to go bust because there's, and and other thing as well. It's all like um, it's all like everything's. It, Everything's interconnected, isn't it? So what happens is the people, for example, people like me and you that usually travel, we usually work in bars, restaurants, retail shops, and most of us are going to lose our jobs. 
because of COVID. We have no cash flow system back. We, we have no extra cash. So people won't be going on holidays and stuff anytime exactly. soon. Yeah, Exactly. The people aren't traveling because they've got no cash. And that's one of the things which like, so it's all, it's all just massive like detriment to the economy because like you start off with one problem, cause another problem, cause another problem, another problem. So it's like that affects, for example, retail businesses are being affected as well. And it's like, so for, so, for, so I was saying airlines first, isn't it? So what happens is, for example, people like me and you, yep, yep, like we can't fly much at the moment. We can't fly much because the issue, the issue, not the issue, like not, it's quite risky to fly somewhere. And as all well, most countries say, once you get into a country, there's a fourteen day quarantine. Yeah, so you can, there's no point going on holiday if you're going to be quarantined <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, because you're in two weeks, right? Yeah. I, while I'm out there, I'll give people like a little, a little. A, if you didn't know, it's, it's a little something. So if you're a health worker, work for the NHS. Right. Um, I think it's um Qatar Airlines. Mm-hmm. They're currently they're currently offering um free airlines, free free flights for for um healthcare workers. To oh really? Then which which they fly to. Yep. Oh wow. For, That's um, amazing. Um um for the next six months. But here's the catch. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a catch. Oh. If you go to if you go to the country which they're flying to you, you're in quarantine for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs>